Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about what you need to do to get your home ready to sell. Going into the sale prepared and organized will make the process so much easier. Hi, I'm realtor Trish Nystrom here in beautiful Gainesville, Florida. And as always, mm, my sidekick bubbles. I get asked all the time, how can we make the process of selling easier? Well, I'm going to give you several hints and tips to do just that. So stick around to the end because I'm going to share my very favorite and my best tip that I tell all of my sellers. Number one, maximize your space and declutter. You're going to have to pack up all your stuff anyway, so why not start now? This is a great time to donate to charity, to those grown children, or to face it, mm, you got to trash some stuff. Mark your box as well. Take them to storage unit. Don't just pile the boxes in the garage because buyers are going to want to see your garage too. Number two, consider getting a home inspection before you list your house and do some of those pesky little repairs that you might have been meaning to for mm, a few years now. Fix the leaky faucet in the bathroom, the torn screen from the dog going through it, and tighten up that loose handrail on the staircase. Getting the HVAC serviced and make sure that the water heater is working correctly, those are great projects to tackle right away too. Number three, update your lighting. Remember, bright and light is best. Dark rooms tend to turn off buyers, so let the light come in. Open up the blinds, turn on some lights, make sure your fixtures are working properly. Update any broken ones and maybe consider adding some outside lights as well. Number four, update paint with neutral colors. Cover outdated or bold or unusual colors, but keep the choices neutral to appeal to the most buyers. Light gray, light beige, always safe choices. Number five, clean goes a long way. Scrub down that front porch and the front door, giving your buyers a clean entryway and make that good impression. Do you need to maybe paint your front door with a fresh coat of paint? A nice color pop on the door and some flowers to the side and make a nice look and give the buyer a great feel right from the start. Maybe hire a cleaning crew to come in and do a deep cleaning of your house. Things like dirty ovens, dirty baseboards, dirty air returns, and ceiling fans, my biggest pet peeves. If you're showing a home and those things are dirty, how can the rest of the house be clean? Now some things that I don't usually suggest that my sellers fix or replace are outdated countertops or flooring. Big items like this can be considered personal taste or choice, and those are best dealt with by offering an allowance to the buyers to switch out the items after closing. You as the seller could get some quotes for the replacements and make those available to the buyers when they're coming through to view. Other things that we need to address is the roof age. Here in Florida, insurance companies are getting a little bit unwilling to insure roofs that are older than 14 years old. Um, now there's still some companies that will insure the roof, but having a roof inspector evaluate prior to the listing might not be a bad idea. And it could help set things up more for a smoother transaction. Now, the most important tip that I can share uh, with you as a seller is this. Remember, this house is no longer your home. It's a property that we need to sell to get you on to your next adventure in life. You'll be taking all the great memories with you of that house, but remember, now is the time for someone else to come in and make their own memories in that house. Think of this process as a business transaction and take the emotion out of it as much as you can. If you're ready to sell and have a great experience, I look forward to working with you. My contact information is below, so reach out to me. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thanks so much from me, Trish Nystrom, and Bubbles, who's out there. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.